Hello, Americans. RJ here with your buzz support. Well, the end to the government shutdown, which was shut down for 35 days, is over. Ah, no, 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 no. We, we, we haven't gotten our money for that wall yet. That Mexico is going to pay for it, but you know, that's just another story. Let's get the wall started first, and then we'll work on Mexico. Paying for it. But me as a Republican, I'm very disturbed because the government has been shut down. Let me get this right now. The government has been shut down for 35 days. It has been affecting government assistance, public housing, uh, the food stamp program, you know, that's part of the government assistance. Uh, employees not getting checks, coming to work, not getting paid. Of course, I know they're going to get reimbursed, you know, for the work that they've done. But it's just this heartache, hardship that they was going through. And so what the disturbing part is, That for 35 days, you know, like when I go to the airport, get ready to catch a flight over here from here from Atlanta to Washington, and, and these long delays that I had to endure. And then, after watching you walk up there to that podium today, and you give this lame ass speech to reopen the government to February the 15th. What the fuck? I say it like that because you walked up there and gave this speech and then you walked back. You left the podium with zilch, nothing, nada. Come on, Republicans. Come on, fellow Republicans, explain to me what was it I just saw. I know damn well this man didn't just bow down to Nancy Pelosi. Uh, you know, oh, man, hold on, hold on a second there. I'm just I'm getting over work. Okay. Take a deep breath. The Dems are dancing in the streets right now. Don't get me wrong. I did not like watching fellow Americans suffer without a paycheck. No, I didn't. But sometimes you have to go through hardships. Now, true patriots they buckle down. I was watching you. Now, I was watching some of you all. Your videos and things that you was posting. I was paying attention. I don't think I wasn't. You went into survival mode. I, I, I liked it. I really do. Because I was in the same boat. I said, if I have to, I go into survival mode. I was watching the Dems sitting up there whining and crying. You know how when they missed that first check, Knowing that they was going to get, you know, uh, it's not like the government's going to be shut forever. Okay. I know people live check to check. Now, I'm explaining this to the Dems. Now, my fellow Republicans, we already know that people live check to check. But, you know, uh, them Dems, you have to explain this to them. Okay. But I was listening, listening to them and watching their videos. One 
damn check. And they fell out. One check. And they were laying out in the streets. Falling on the ground, kicking their feet up just like a newborn baby. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, oh, my, my good. Now, we have people. There were people out there who were dependent on government assistance, food stamps, uh, daycare vouchers, and, and things like that. These corporate stores wasn't helping. They know the government is not going to be shut down forever. They know that if people come up there with an EBT card, that they're going to get their money, so they should have found a different route. They should have taken a different route. But they showed their true face. You know, just like I was prepared to bow down. I mean, I bow down. Oh, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But I was prepared for the long haul. I wasn't worried about food. I could hunt. I could fish. There's food out there. I can farm. I can. I'm not. I wasn't worried about that part. Most patriots and true Americans, we're not worried about the food part. We're not worried about where we're gonna get water because when push comes to shove, we know how to go into survival mode. But I'm just really having a hard time with this look. when you walked away from that podium, Mr. President. But you said something at the end. Okay? And now I'm going to take that and put that in the back of my mind. You said, and we're going to hold you to this, I don't want to hear about, well, I got $7.5 billion for border security. I want to hear I got seven five point seven point five billion for a border wall, not border security. I know it's part of border security. We can work on that other stuff later, but the wall—that's what I want to hear. Come February fifteenth, the ultimatum that you gave, that you said. Either you will give me the funding for this wall, or I will call a national emergency. You got two choices come February 15th. Oh, it's on. Oh, let them bathe in their glory right now. Let them dance and rejoice. You know, jump in the streets and clap and let them have their little victory right now. I mean, they're taking their victory lap. Oh, they're doing it good. But as a Republican, I know you have to have patience. We don't jump to conclusion right away. Now, I don't like that look. I really don't, Mr. President. I don't like that look at all. But I have patience because I caught what you said at the end. Okay. We're going to sit back. We're going to watch them jump up and down and who and you know, all that right there. We're going to let them do it for right now. Go ahead on, Dems. Have your fun now. But come February 15th, you heard the man. You're going to give you time enough to come up with that money. He's just giving you time to come up with that money. Y'all, subscribe to my Twitter, my YouTube. Just type in Buzz Report. Hit that like, subscribe, or retweet this. I might put it up on YouTube. And stay tuned. 
because we're going to have a party come February 15th. RJ, with your buzz report. Until then. Peace.